Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna try the most famous chippy in Birmingham. These guys are literally open for like two hours and that's it, they're closed. I've just about made it on time. We're gonna check out why they're so famous, why they're so acclaimed. Let me take you inside and see if they're kind of worth the hype, if they're worth having that title of the best chippy in Birmingham. So they're called Bedders. Look here. 11.30 until 2. Do you want to come in? Do you want to come in? Absolutely okay. gorgeous food, always has been. Well, I'm new to the area. Yeah. Have you been here before? Since I was a baby. I've been told it's 10, 10. Everyone tells me it's the best place to go in Birmingham. 10, 10 is a little bit low. I reckon okay. 12 out of 10. 10, okay. 10 on a bad day, mate. What's your, what's your favourite? What, what do you get when you come here? Fish without the batter, mushy peas, gravy, all the bread and butter, yeah. and a big smile off these ladies in here. Fish without the batter? Fish without the batter, mate, yeah. Next so, so, was it grilled or something? Uh, fried still, but less batter. Sorry, mate. Ginger, oh. ginger not Okay. Good. <laughs> That's what, you know what? No, bro. No, gingers. Don't say anything about it. I'm the only ginger you're Asian. You're alright on your chips. Listen, I'm the only ginger Asian you're ever going to meet. Okay. Sorry. Right. I've got myself fish and chips. Uh, gravy yeah. and curry. Yes. That good order. Jobs are good. You don't need, if you don't like it, you can take onions, them off. Onions, yeah. onions. Yeah. I've just asked for that. I've never had that in the chippy. Now I'm going to have it in my car because I don't yeah. want to get loads of people in the back and well, stuff. Well, listen, do your thing, mate. Have a good day. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, I wanted to get you in it, but I've ended up getting some yeah. of the customers. So anyway, Thanks I was going to. I was gonna ask what your favourite things are, or the best things are. Onions. How are your How are your mushy peas? Uh, can, did I order them? I didn't, did I? You do. Can I order some mushy peas yeah. as well? You need one of everything after them. I do really. No, I do. 100%. I, I think there should be fish cakes on the menu. Fish cake. How come you don't do fish cakes? It's very small menu. Right. I'm gonna take it back to the car. What friendly people, man. What lovely people in there. We're seating inside. The lady did say, "Look, why don't you sit inside?" But do you know what? I'm in the mood to just do it. I was going to say in the car, but I've changed my mind. I kind of want to do it outside. I want to stand. I want to stand and do this, right? But it's a bit sunny, so please bear the bear in mind the light's a little bit funny. So let's uh, start with the actual fish and chips. Ooh, hello. Okay, it's windy, and uh, I am not talented enough to do this. Let me just take it back in the car. The absolute manoeuvres I'm doing today to get this review and stuff. Turn the car around. Look at this. I have to say, it looks fantastic. I do think the fish maybe is on the small side. A little bit, but if it's good quality, then do you know what? I'll buy two. It is what it is. The chap who I met inside says he's been coming here since he was little, and honestly, a lot of people tell me this has been like their local since they were young. So it's one of them where it's got a lot of history, it's got a really loyal fan base. Also, never heard of fish with like very little batter. I love the batter, but I guess it's not for everyone. Maybe it's a bit oily. Like it's not for everyone, right? Something to note is they do wrap all the food in these little cellophane things, which is pretty cool i'll keep it real i don't know how i'm going to show all these to you but i'm going to try so the onions apparently are like something i have to get the lady inside said oh i have to get them and then people inside said i have to get them so i'm going to pop them on i don't want to put on too much because i might not like it right i'm trying to make like an all-encompassing bite and then i'm going to try the mushy peas and then the gravy as well i'm going to get this everywhere i just know it but i'm going to oh god that's not I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh, let's just put a little bit on. Do you know what? Let me just actually try the fish first because I'm just overcomplicate. Do you know what? Because this place is so esteemed, I don't know why. I've eaten, I've done like 500 reviews. I don't know why I'm nervous. Okay, let's try this. It's steaming. The batter seems mad crispy, which I like. Oh, oh, did you guys hear that crunch? Oh, that's got the perfect amount of oiliness for a fish and chips. You don't want a grilled piece of fish, but you don't want to be mad oily. You want to taste the fish, you want to taste the batter, you want to taste plenty of salt and vinegar. The batter's got a really good crunchiness and crispiness to it. The fish is really flaky. I said at the beginning that it was a little bit small. I still kind of stand by that. I think the fish is a bit small. What they give you is absolutely fantastic. That fish is getting a straight up, hey man, delicious. Actually delicious. I can see why it's acclaimed. People love it. Let's have a little bit of onion with it actually and chip. I've never thought of having onion with fish, but guys, this is a game changer. It has a really nice bit of acidity. It adds like an additional crunch as well. That's actually very good. Like, I think if I had that in uh, that option in more chippies, I would get it. Oh, I don't think, are they as good as the ones I had the other day in, in Bradford? I don't know, I'd have to do a head to head, but very, very good. Mushy peas, always divisive mushy peas. You'll either love them or you hate them. I get them with every chippy I go to, I'll be honest with you. Mushy peas are something that I love. I never know why they're so divisive because mushy peas are just the best. If you don't like them, there's 100% something wrong with you. These are fresh. They're made right there. Oh, the consistency is perfect. They're not too thick. They're not slodgy, but they're not like sloppy. You know, they've got a really nice texture to them and a lovely taste as well. The mushy peas, 10, 10, 10, 10. Onions, 10, 10. The chips are great. Let me try the curry sauce. The only criticism so far I have is I would like the fish to be a little bit bigger, but I'm a big lad, I eat a lot. 
I forgot what, the, what did I pay? What did I pay? Oh, I'm really bad at stuff like that. What did I pay? I'll just buy two pieces of fish there. But then the cost would be quite prohibitive. I don't know. I've forgotten. I, I actually don't know what I pay. Let's give the curry sauce a go. The curry sauce is good. I think it's perfectly serviceable. Good kick to it. Good body, good body of flavor. But I'm leaning towards the mushy peas and the onions. That's what I'm going for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close. Okay, let me turn the car on. I'm going to close that. Let's see if that improves the lighting. I don't know. Huh, that actually improved it. I should have done that from the beginning. So overall, uh, I think Bedders is a fantastic little chippy. It's open half 11 till two. So it's got very limited opening hours. So if you're going to come in, make sure you go during those times. They do have seating, but I kind of want to sit in my car because there's so many people in there. I don't want to capture like families and stuff. Like it's not nice. So that's why I sat in the car and made my life so much harder with this poor lighting but it kind of is what it is overall i definitely recommend the fish and chips uh, do get the onion do get the mushy peas the curry sauce is kind of so-so and and maybe get something with your fish and chips because i think with the fish i'd want like a little bit more they don't do like fish cake but they do like fish roe which i believe is fish eggs as like a fish cake so maybe try that but i just didn't really fancy trying it but anyway guys that's all for today um, if you want to see more videos, there should be something on the screen there for you. Please do click that. Please make sure to like, do follow. Do let me know what I should review down below as well. Make sure to hit subscribe. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys in that very next video. Bye-bye-bye.